is up guys back again to the channel so guys so as you guys know James Gunn and David Cornswell and them they are currently filming for Superman Legacy I know the film is being uh, the film might be retitled just as Superman I, I'm just so used to saying Superman Legacy for this movie but blah, 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 blah. you guys know what I mean so for James Gunn's Superman movie we'll just say that for now on so Last time in my other video, we talked about the leaked set, the set photos of the the new look of this, the clear look of Superman's suit, right? And on the side, we also saw Mr. Terrific. But new set photos came out today. Today, shout out to All Star Geek who also sent me some photos, some photos I found already. But he also sent me sent me a few photos that I was like, oh shit, I can include this in the video. So yeah, but but. Guys, so we got the leaked set photos of Guy Gardner, of Nathan Fillion's Guy Gardner. We also got another leaked set photo of Isabel Murch's Hawker Girl. I'm gonna before before I show you guys these photos, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on how, uh, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on how the suits look and my opinions, stuff like that. And then I'll get on to the other other leaked set photos we got also. But but first off, let me just say I am very very happy. I'm very excited for this movie. I'm very excited to see these characters in this movie. It's, it's very exciting. So let me just get that out of the way. I'm very excited for these characters. So yeah. So photo number one, we have. Okay, it's kind of it's kind of hard to you know specifically, but we'll do we'll do this shot. Okay, so. We had this shot of two characters, Mr. Terrific and Hawkgirl, flying in the air. Flying in the air. Then on the bottom, you see Guy Gardner talking to Superman. And then on the other side, you see somebody in a blue suit. I think that's, uh, that's the character Metamorpho. We know that he is in this movie, and I think that's like the motion capture type of suit. You guys know what I mean? So yeah. So yeah, so on the side right here, we got this, the photo of Guy Gardner talking to Superman. Now, let me just, for, we'll do him first, okay? So my thoughts on his suit, it's not green enough. What I mean by that is he's a Green Lantern. And I feel like from a distance, who's someone who's not a DC fan or someone who is a DC fan, but they don't know DC like that, they wouldn't even be, I feel like not 100%, unless you unless you see the logo, then you'd be like, oh, that's a Green Lantern. But, but I feel like from a distance, you wouldn't even be able to tell that's a Green Lantern. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of, I kind of expected uh, for, for his suit, something like this, you know what I'm saying? Kind of just like that vest type of thing. But that logo on his chest, we're gonna talk about that in a, in a, in a bit, but that logo on his chest does basically give a reason to why his suit's a bit different. We'll talk about it in a bit, but yeah. Um, the suit, I'm not really liking it, but 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 we'll talk about it more in a bit. Now let's talk about Hawk Girl suit. Now we also see Hawk Girl suit. Um, I think the helmet looks amazing, amazing. I think it looks great. It, it, it for sure captures the Hawk Girl mask that we've seen in Justice League Unlimited, you know what I'm saying, we've seen in the cartoons, the, you know, the, 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 in the comics, you know what I'm saying, how our mask is supposed to look, I love that, I love that, I love that, but the suit is another thing I'm not 100% rocking with, you know what I'm saying, I kind of did expect something more warrior-ish, I'm not saying this because I don't like, I mean, I, I'm not 100% for them because they kind of feel like those jackets that like for overwatch characters and i'm saying i'm not really 100 like rocking with them but she also does have the logo on her chest that we're going to talk about in a bit but but i'm not really rocking with the suit i i kind of expected something more like this so i'm saying something more warrior like but like the 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 not necessarily Wonder Woman like, but you know, you guys get what I'm trying to say, like how she looks in the comics. So I'm saying I kind of expect something like that. But but the logo on the chest does explain why the, these suits are like that. So I'll, I'll I'll talk about that more in a bit. But yeah, um, those are the those are the set photos for for both of their suits. Uh, you guys got that image of them of them flying in the air, of her flying in the air next to Mr. Terrific, and then there's also an image uh, showing her mace, which looks very very cool. 
Looks very, very cool. Looks like she's gonna do some badass stuff. But I really do like the gloves that are on her hands, you know what I'm saying? I really do like that. So now, let me get to why these suits could just be like this. Okay, so, so, a while ago, James Gunn casted his brother, uh, Sean, Sean Gunn, as Maxwell Lord. I'm gonna be honest, before he officially casted Maxwell Lord, I didn't hundred percent know Maxwell Lord. I, I, I knew him in the um in, I knew he I knew I knew of him. I knew who he was. I just thought that he was a villain in the comics. Um and we saw him in Wonder Woman 1984, which was not a good movie, you know what I'm saying? It did have some fun scenes, but it was not a good movie. I didn't think that was a great portrayal for Maxwell Lord. But I do like Pedro Pascal, I think he's great. But 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 I recently found out that this team, the team that Mr. Terrific, Metamorpho, Hawkgirl, and Guy Gardner are in the logos on their chest. Um, Mr. Terrific has it, Guy Gardner has it, and Hawkgirl has it. And and we don't we we don't see uh, Metamorpho's suit because it's gonna be CGI. But we'll see when the time comes. But but when the movie comes out, you know what I'm saying? But those logos on the chest is Maxwell Lord's company, like his his thing. And this is the Justice League International. The logo on their chest is Lord Tech. So that is Maxwell Lord's company, his company. And and in the comics, in, in Justice League International, Maxwell Lord is the leader of this team, but he's a villain. He's a villain. And he has his own way of view of justice, how he kind of wants to like have control over these heroes and make the world in his eye of justice. And these heroes, Guy Gardner, you know what I'm saying? He works with the just um the Green Lantern Corps, so all these, all these corps, so he's not hundred like, hundred on there with the heroic, right mindset. You know what I'm saying? So all these people, they're they're they're, they're going to Maxwell Lord. He's kind of like the Tony Stark of the team for them. You know what I'm saying? So, so, I think that is a whole plot point, key point for Superman's impact on the team, because I think Superman's heroic, hopeful. You know what I'm saying? I think that is going to impact all those characters to be like, what have we been doing all this time? Like, I don't work with Maxwell Lord anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's why they have those suits. That is that is the whole point. That like we we're, I don't think we we're meant to 100% like the suits. If we like the suits, then that's good. I don't think we we're 100% meant to like the suits because it's Maxwell Lord's company. So that is for sure kind of, you know, like, 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 oh, okay, okay, I understand. But yeah, that is gonna be a, like a plot point for the movie. So they see how much of a hero Superman is, and I think that will potentially lead, potentially lead for them to leave the Justice League, and to leave the Justice League International, and perhaps in the future join Superman when they form the Justice League. That'd be pretty cool, that'd be pretty cool. But, but yeah, that's, that's, um, that's what I think. That's what I think about the suits. That's what I think about the 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 the, the, the sign. We still don't know. The movie's not coming. We still don't know hundred hundred percent. Um, we also we also did get set photos of a wallow. This was way before. I just didn't do a video on it yet. Um, we actually got this a uh, guy in, in a black outfit with a U on his chest, um, holding Superman as he like he's like under arrest. You know what I'm saying let's just say that does look pretty familiar. All I'm saying, but um. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, um, some people have been joking around saying that's a black no wall. What's he doing in there? But yeah, no, nah, um, but yeah, people have been theorizing that that might be Ultraman. Ultraman, if you guys not, if you guys have not seen this, um, I know Ultraman from the Crisis on Two Earths animated movie. And I really, I really, that's probably like one of my top five DC animated movies, probably top three, but I, I for sure gotta run that through my mind. But that, but the Ultraman was pretty crazy. He's like, but. I don't know to be honest, because I, I I doubt this new universe is dealing with the multiverse. So I'm saying this also could be another character. I I kind of forgot it's like Magna, something like that. It could be a different character. Some people are also saying it could be Doomsday. Um, I, I don't 100 see that, but it could be the case. But I doubt I doubt they would introduce Doomsday now, because th this is Superman for a new franchise, for a new for a new DC Cinematic Universe. I doubt they want to introduce Doomsday this quickly for him to be killed like this. So I'm saying I doubt that. 
but yeah, yeah. And we also seen uh, Cephalo, the engineer, uh, the villain of the movie, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not mistaken, I think she's a part of the authority. If I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken though, but, but yeah. But um, I think we also got set photos of uh, Lex Luthor. I might be mistaken. If there's no photo, then I might be mistaken. But yeah. But but what I really want to talk about, what I what I really want to talk about, is the scene. Then I mean the the, the set photo leak, the video of the heroes walking. And as they're walking, you see a bunch of kids running to Superman. Now. I want you guys to listen to this video. Guys, I need that song. I need that song in the movie. I need that song in the movie. There, it's a perfect timing. There is no better time for a Superman project to put this song on than ever. This is the perfect project. I love that song so much for Superman. Uh, if you guys have not, check out this video. Check out this video. It's a uh, tribute to Superman with the song. And it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It touches my heart. Because like I said, like I don't know if I said this before, but Superman means a lot to me. Superman means so, so much to me. He, he is... The hero of DC. He used to be like, he used to be my favorite DC character of all time. I used to, my, used to be my favorite DC character of all time. But it was because of Injustice that it did lower the bar a little bit. Um, because you know, I I love heroes. That's why Captain America is my favorite character of all time. Because you know, he represents the best out of all of us. He represents the heroism. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Superman meant to me when I was little. But then, but then obviously I saw Injustice and that for sure lowered it. I still love Superman, but it just for sure lowered it. And then Flash took over and then Green Arrow also took over. But then now, like having the hope back again, you know what I'm saying? Superman could be back on top, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, but yeah, yeah. Um, I really love that video. I really hope this song is in the movie in that scene. And the kids running to Superman. Look at, look at this photo of Superman holding this kid. And look at this comic image of Superman holding this kid. It is so beautiful because Superman is the hero, the hero of, of, of the DC universe. He is the symbol of hope. You see his logo, you know Superman, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys, this is my most anticipated DC movie of all time and probably my top two, top three uh, comic movie that I'm most anticipated for. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like, we haven't had a Superman movie in a long time. So it's Man of Steel, and I love Man of Steel, you know what I'm saying? So, I cannot wait for this movie. I cannot, cannot wait. And I'm so, so happy we are seeing other uh, DC heroes in the movie, which is very exciting, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm very, 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 very excited for this movie. These set photos are just getting me more, 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 more excited. So, yeah, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Comment down below. What do you guys think about these suits? Do you guys like these suits? Maybe you guys might like these suits. Maybe it's just me, but maybe you guys might like these suits. But I hope you guys didn't take, take like, oh my god, why is he comparing to when I said Overwatch? I didn't, I didn't, know what I'm saying? I just meant, like, the jackets, like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. But yeah, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys can, please smash the like button. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell notification to support the channel. I appreciate every single one of you who watched the videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Until next time, heroes. Peace and take care.